Hey guys, Josh here, and for the last week I've been playing Palea quite a lot and I'm very excited about the future of this game. However, since it's still in beta, it is of course lacking some things, and in this video I would like to discuss 10 features I would like to see added to Palea. The first few ones are all related to the decoration aspect of the game, which is my favorite part of Palea. To start, I think what I would like the most is more filters for crafting and storage, so you can currently separate decor from tools and crafters, but it's not enough. The game already has quite a good amount of furniture sets, each with dozens of things like couches, chairs, tables, lamps, and little knickknacks like bottles, teapots, and more. The more recipes you unlock, the messier it gets, and it becomes difficult to find specific items, especially when there are so many little things like bottles that do look pretty similar. They are also not in alphabetical order, and some sets are all over the place, for example, at the top of the list, there's most of the homestead set, then there's the log cabin set, then there's a few more things from the homestead set, then there are again a few more things from the log cabin set that come back a bit later down the list. And it's just a little bit confusing and to make it easier, I would love maybe a search feature where you could just type the name of the item or the set and it would just show up. Another option would be the ability to select from different categories, for example chairs, beds, tables, miscellaneous, Kind of like in The Sims, where you can easily see all items of the same type. They could also add to that some filters, maybe in the form of checkboxes for the different sets. So for example, if you want to hide a set, you know you won't be using. Or if you want to see things from two or three different sets, you would know would look good together. That would be quite useful. I think it would make it a lot easier to find furniture you're interested in, because now I just end up scrolling endlessly for every single thing I want to craft, and it's not an optimal experience. The second thing I'd love to see added is a bit more flexibility when customizing the structure of your house. Actually, for the most part, I think Pelia is doing a great job at that, as it's extremely easy to move rooms around without having to displace the furniture. You can add or remove walls in an instant, change the size of the windows, change the flooring and wallpapers, that's all very well done. I think the option to move the windows around could be a nice little extra, but most importantly, I want to be able to change the style of the ceiling. So in your main room, you have this very high and open ceiling, which looks amazing and makes the main room feel very spacious. My idea at first was to add a large room right next to it, which is the same size as the main room, then remove the wall and create just one big room. Unfortunately, the new room has a lower and flat ceiling, so I didn't get the results I was looking for. I ended up putting a wall and I do think it looks good now and this is probably such a little thing that most players wouldn't mind and maybe not worth the effort for the developers. But if that is possible, that is one thing I'd love to see added so I could make a big room with high ceilings. This next one, I think most people will agree with me and I'm pretty sure we will have these eventually because they are essential to any game with decoration, but right now it's kind of difficult to decorate the exterior of the house because there's only one type of fence and no paths of any kind. I wish I could have a little wooden or stone path connecting my house to my garden, maybe connecting possible future areas, but right now it's just grass everywhere and even though we do have some exterior furniture, it's very hard to make things look organized. I think there are two ways that paths could work in this game. If you look at the other areas like Kilima, you can tell that the paths in Pelia are kind of like spray painted, if that makes sense. So maybe we could have some sort of painting tool for the terrain. Once again, kind of similar to how it works in The Sims. Or maybe we could have tiles that could be crafted and placed, like how most farming games are doing it. We already have rugs in the game, so it could work similarly to those. Also, for the fences, right now we only have the log cabin fences. And while they do look fine, they might not be the best if you're trying to achieve a fancier look, so a bit of variety would be interesting. One thing that I do find interesting is on your housing plot, you can simply press H to get a top-down view, allowing you to easily move around the different rooms and any big furniture items that are outside. This mode is great because it lets you use all of the furniture you have in your storage as opposed to when you're placing things in third-person mode and you need to have the items in your inventory before you can place them. However, I wish there was a way to hide the roof while you're in top-down view, so you could stay in that mode to actually decorate the interior of your house, because right now you can only place things outside and it feels like this mode can't be used to its full potential. Hiding the roof would reduce the amount of back and forth to get items from the storage while decorating, and it would make it easy to quickly try out different layouts for your rooms. Next, I wish we could add our own custom photos in the frames. If you go to Zeki's Night Market every night, you'll be able to buy rugs, 
unique items and wall decor, which includes a variety of frames and paintings. I thought at first that for the frames, there would be the possibility to add a custom photo, but that is unfortunately not the case, at least as of right now. This game has a pretty fun camera mode. If the person taking the pictures could do emotes, it would be even better. But there's no way to really show these pictures to anyone while you're inside the game. I think that being able to choose a photo from your album to put into these frames would be a good way of making everybody's house unique and a great talking point for when you have friends over. From the food to the characters and the landscapes, the world of Pelia is so beautiful and it would be fun to take advantage of that in the camera mode a bit more. The next few features I would like to see added to Pelia are mostly social or community related and one thing I'd really love is community housing. If you don't know, in Pelia you can create communities which are kind of like guilds in other games and I know they are working on some features for those communities, we don't really know what's coming up but a place to meet, hang out, craft and decorate together would be amazing. Currently, you can have multiple plots for yourself and yes, you can set permissions to allow others to visit and decorate, but they can't go there while you're offline. What I would love is a plot shared by all members of a community. Maybe it could have shared storage so you could put any extra items you have in there to help others. There could be maybe a shared garden and why not even some buffs for doing things there instead of at home. I don't know what kind of features they're planning for communities, but having a place to display trophies, special items or achievements, and going back to my previous point, photos of the community would be amazing. Another thing I would love to be able to do on these community plots is to play mini games with my friends. I was thinking about that while decorating my house and by the way, it's a shame that you can't sit down on furniture, but it would be great to have some sort of card or board game that you could play with others. There is this game called Chezu in the world of Pelia, which kind of looks like chess, so maybe we could have something like that, or something like in My Time at Senrock, where there's a card game similar to Rock, Paper, Scissors. For a bit of extra excitement, why not, maybe we could even bet with some gold or items. I know there is an arcade machine for sale, sometimes at Zeki's Market, and I don't know if there's an actual playable minigame on it, because it's quite expensive, I think it's 60,000, but I think Pelia would definitely benefit from some minigames, maybe more affordable ones that you could play with or against your friends and community members. For my next point, I already talked about having a shared storage on a community plot, which would help resolve that, but I want more options for trading with other players. Currently, you can place 4 requests per day for a preset selection of items and quantities, and anyone will be able to fulfill those requests and the items will get sent to you. However, there is no way to easily pay someone back or give them something in exchange, especially if they have already placed their 4 requests for that day. I wish there was a proper trading system like in most MMOs, where you can just open a window and each person puts what they want to offer, they accept the offer and that's it. They would probably need to make some items ungivable like quest items or maybe rare items if they don't want to break the balance of the game or make it too easy, but overall I feel like the current request system is just a bit too restrictive and I think that a more in-depth trading system would also encourage more interactions between players. Alright, next is probably the thing that annoys me the most and I really hope it gets fixed soon if possible. So basically, every time you go through a loading screen and the map changes, the chat resets itself. I understand why that would be the case for the server chat because usually changing the map will change your server, if I'm not wrong. But it's also the case for other chats like the community one, which is the same chat no matter the server you end up on. It happened so many times where I was chatting, I needed to go to a different map and just before I did, someone said something to me in the chat, I didn't have time to read it and it was gone once I appeared on the next map. Also, I always wonder what happens if someone posts something while you're on the loading screen, will you see the message after or will you just never see it? It sounds silly but I'm always a bit nervous whenever I have to change area because I fear someone will talk to me or ask me a question and then they will think I'm ignoring them because I didn't see their message. So for this reason, I would love a chat log that does not reset all the time. And the last feature I would like to talk about today is the ability to have pets or animals, like in any good MMO or live sim game. First, there are some items used in cooking such as butter, milk and eggs that you have to buy from the store but that you can't make by yourself for now. In Pelia, there's already the equivalent of cows, the Ormus, and they're super cute and there would be more than enough space on our housing plots for a little barn. Also, pets would be great even if they were just cosmetics and would allow each player to have something else to differentiate them from others beside their outfit. I was thinking pets could also maybe help you with things like hunting or foraging, for example, if you give them enough food. Especially foraging, I think it's the only activity that doesn't really offer any benefits for doing it with other players, 
So having a dog or some other pet helping you gathering flowers or seashells could be a lovely addition. And these are the 10 features I would love to see added to Pelia. I'm sure we will get some of these eventually and maybe we'll even get more interesting ones. But so far I'm really enjoying what the developers have created with this game. And let me know everyone in the comments what are the things you'd like to see added to Pelia. And if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more Pelia content like this and I'll see you all in the next video.